Depending on what persona you chose, you witness different barriers or open doors when they try to access information. So what we can gather from these various experiences is that you have limited access to information. For example, you do not have access to a university library. When searching for information, remember that not every resource you find will be openly accessible, even when using Google Scholar, for finding research articles. Information can cost money. Also, use government websites which are freely available as a trusted source of information for things like census data or guidelines from small business development centers. You can target open access scholarship or use your public library or interlibrary loan to gain access to scholarship that costs money. Always, no matter your access to information, remember when you are searching for information to be selective about the words you use to search, either in Google, Google Scholar, or a subscription database. Gather and read multiple perspectives or sources to get a fuller picture of your topic. As we have seen, the public library usually offers its own databases and reference sources that include journals and magazines. What else is at the public library that we can use? Business books and ebooks, health books, parenting books, databases, general, business, health, internet access, spaces to sit, events to attend, interlibrary loan, librarians. Look for all these things and more. Ask for what you don't find. You may be surprised. Careful use of internet sources will help you make better decisions. What does careful mean? We recommend the SIFT method. Stop, investigate, find, and trace. Stop is to develop the habit of pausing when you come upon information, memes, tweets, or posts. Stop reacting. Immediate share, retweet, check your emotions. Give yourself a minute to think. Investigate is investigate the source. Dig into who wrote this, where, and when. Can you trust these people? Find better coverage. Back up to Google and run a couple searches looking for sources you know to be trustworthy. What do they say about this? Cross-check your facts. Trace means to trace claims to the original context. Click through the story and search out its claims. Is X really impacted by Y? Is that person really the head of that agency? Does that study really exist? Do the internal facts hold? Evaluation is important. See the links on the left panel for places you can go to learn more. Much like internet resources, we can use elements of SIFT to investigate academic journal articles too. Stop. Stop long enough to see if the article is really about your topic. Investigate the source. Who wrote the article? Do they have some expertise? And is the journal peer-reviewed? Find coverage. Do other articles agree with the conclusions in your article? Seek other articles or resources to ensure you are getting the full story. Trace claims. Look at the reference and explore them. Explore the data and methodology of the article to make sure it is transparent and logical. We have reached the end of this tutorial. We have discovered there are different levels of information need. We have seen examples of information barriers. We have seen lots of examples of places to go to find reliable information. And we have explored how to evaluate information through the SIFT method. On the following slides, you will find our references. Please continue through to the last slide to download your certificate of completion if needed. Congrats!